up guys, Ryan here again with another quick tip and uh, today we're still continuing on talking about uh, ProRes on Windows. I've gotten a couple of comments and also a couple of questions about ProRes 4444 and also uh, ProRes 4444 with an alpha channel. So uh, yeah, there's not a preset currently available for that, but I made one, I've been testing it. So uh, full disclaimer, I'm just basing it off of things that I've seen off of uh, FFmpeg's website and I made my own preset. It's working. I'll have it available for download in the description. And yeah, let's just jump right in and get work on it. All right, cool. So let's get started. I'll open up another GUI. And this is the preset they'll have available for download. Go ahead and drag that in. Import one preset. We'll say OK. And let's go ahead and take a look at it. So right here, it's in the Final Cut Pro folder, FNX ProRes 4444. And let's open it up. And um, how I default this was a frame rate of 30 frames per second in case you have an image sequence. If you don't want to use that, just go ahead and delete it and save it. And then you'll have your own preset that'll, if you just use footage, it'll go with your natural uh, frame rate. So... Awesome, so for this one, I'm gonna stick with 30 frames per second because I'm gonna open up an image sequence. And here I have the sphere out of Cinema 4D. Uh, it's on an alpha channel. Uh, it's a PNG sequence, so let's go ahead and open it. Uh, I've got the preset applied. And let's go ahead and click go. All right, so it's done. Let's go ahead and open it up with media info to look at the codec. And media info is seeing it as 30 frames per second, ProRes 4444. So the next thing we should do, just to check really quick, is let's jump into After Effects. I'm going to take that same clip. I'm going to drag it into After Effects here. And let's see. So yeah, 30 frames per second, trillions of colors. Let's make a new composition. And it has the alpha channel. Cool. So another last thing I'll uh, talk about really quick is if you notice, the clip ends with whatever my project was, which is a sphere underscore ProRes 4444. So again, if I open up this edit, and you don't want your clips to end with ProRes 444, just take this, delete that whole line, save it, and you should be good to go. All right, so quick one, um, but just answering more questions about uh, ProRes on Windows, I hope that helps. A uh, link to download that preset will be available in the description. I'm trying to get another tutorial out tomorrow on uh, some motion tracking and the beams effect. So uh, I'll try to get that to you. If not, I'll definitely have it next week. And uh, yeah, I hope that helps. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Cool. So it's really slowing down towards the end there, which is nice. Kind of eases into it a little bit more. All right. Cool. So we're almost there. We're doing good.